In this video, I'll be sharing very easy steps on how to edit a song cover using a free software called BandLab, which is also available on smartphones, so you can follow along. And this time, I'll be using a very cheap condenser microphone like the BM800, as it's very common to a lot of hobbyists who just want to sing and upload their song covers on social media. First, you go to bandlab.com, and then click on Create, and then New Project. And it should bring you to something like this. So I'll just go voice and audio, all right? So this is how it would look like. And just need to drag the instrumental that you've downloaded from YouTube over here. And you start recording your vocals by adding a track and then start recording your vocals. And it will look something like this, all right? So I already have the instrumental here on the first track and then my vocals on the second track. Let's start with the effects that I placed on the instrumental. I have um, added a gain um, effect here. So just simply click on add effect and then look for it here, gain, right? So the reason why I placed it here is uh, to adjust the volume of the instrumental because it's too loud. So I added a graphic EQ here and did very minor adjustments, negative one dB on 200 Hertz negative 1 dB on 1.6, and negative 1 dB on 3.2. The reason why I do that is um, I want to make sure that there's room for the vocals on these certain frequencies because these are the common frequencies that would overlap between those two audio tracks. I also added a stereo -wise effect. The settings I have here is 5.0. This is to spread the instrumental, make it more stereo so that the vocals will sit properly in the middle, in the middle frequencies. And I've adjusted the low end from 100. I adjusted it down to 95% so that it will give a little room for the fundamentals of the vocals. So moving on to the the vocal track so the first effect I have on here is the auto pitch uh, which I normally just set to light just to have a minimal correction on the on the notes so I have it set to G major since that's the key of the song so if you want to know what key your song is in you can just go to tunebat.com and then upload the instrumental file here and it will analyze the track for you and will tell you what your key is. So in my case, the key of this song is G major. So I set it to G major and this is how it sounds like without auto pitch. When she looks at me I know the girl sees things nobody else can see And this is with the auto pitch. When she looks at So there you have it. Uh, it's, uh, as I've said earlier, it's a very light tuning because you don't also want to sound robotic. So that's the first effect. So moving on to the second um, effect or the, the effects chain here. So I have the noise gate. So what this effect does is it uh, reduces the volume of the audio track whenever it hits the threshold that you've set. So in my case, I have it set to negative 50 decibels because that's where I found it to be noisy on the quiet part. Uh, I didn't change the attack and release settings anymore. So let's uh, take a listen to the track before the noise gate. Let's do it in solo. When she looks at me I know the girl sees things nobody else can see All of the This is with the noise gate. When she looks at me I know the girl sees things nobody else can see. All of All right, so this uh, pretty much just removes the crackle, the breath in between sections. So again, it depends on your actual audio track. Feel free to play around with this. So the second effect I have here is a multi-filter and I set it to high pass. What this does is it cuts off the bass of your vocals. I have it set to 200 hertz so that everything below 200 hertz, which is the bass end of your voice, will be cut off. So this is how it sounds before the high pass filter. I know the girl sees things nobody else can see. And this is with the, the high pass filter. I know the girl sees things nobody else can see. Alright, so very minimal change, but you would already hear that's uh, a bit brighter when we cut the frequencies below 200 hertz. So moving on to the next effect, which is an EQ. These are the settings that I've landed with that made my vocal 
example, sound bright. So I've got the low end by negative three decibels. So this is to remove more bass from your vocals because again, we want it to sound bright. So I've adjusted the high, added nine decibels to it so that it will again sound bright without sounding distorted. What I did on the mid frequency, I've uh, reduced negative three decibels on 500 hertz. Play around with this. Uh, this is where I found a little bit more bass. And this totally depends on your voice, your microphone, and your uh, recording environment. So feel free to play around with this. So let's try to listen to it without the EQ. I know the girl sees things nobody else can see. So as you can hear, uh, it sounds muddy. And here's how it sounds like with the EQ. All right, so as you can hear, the vocals are now starting to pop out and you can now hear the clarity of the vocals over the instrumental. So we'll now proceed to the next plugin. So I have here a compressor. It reduces the dynamics or the spikes of your vocal track. What this does is it reduces those peaks and compresses them so that you will end up with a vocal track that would have a consistent volume or consistent sound or consistent gain. So these are the settings that I normally use. So I have a quick attack at 15 ms, quick to medium attack at 50 millisecond, and I've set the threshold to negative 18 decibels. So this part here you have to customize based on how much compression you want. Basically you're telling the software that when it hits negative 18 decibels, then compress it. And then I have the ratio that, which is 4 to 1. This is a very common ratio for mixing. And for the knee, I've left it at 6 dB. So this plugin also increases the volume of the quieter section of your recording so that it will end up having a uniform sound or consistent sound all throughout the track. All of the secret fears inside and all the craziness I hide She looks into my soul All of the secret fears inside and all the craziness I hide She looks into to my soul. The next effect I have here is the tape simulator. So this is optional, but I found this to be useful when you want a saturated vocals. So what I did here was uh, just set the drive to 20% and I did not change anything on these other knobs anymore. So this is how it sounds like before the, the, the tape simulator. All of the secret fears inside and all the craziness I hide and This is how it sounds like with the tape simulator All of the secret fears inside And all the craziness I hide so again, very minimal changes, but it's good to have that simulator on there so that again, your voice will be saturated and it will have that added clarity uh, to the vocals. So we're almost done here. The next effect I have is another EQ, which is a graphic EQ. What I did here was to add more clarity by adding two decibels at 1.6 kilohertz because uh, this is where the clarity of the vocal lives. So this is without the graphic EQ. All of the secret fears inside and all the craziness I hide And this is with the graphic EQ All of the secret fears inside and all the craziness I hide not really a crazy change there, but again, it helps add clarity. So that's the graphic EQ. So moving on to the next effect, which is the reverb. So I have added a space maker effect and I've set the mix to 10% only because I don't want my covers to have too much reverb. Uh, I did not change the width, size, and dampening anymore, but I did uh, set it to long plate because I found the long plate to sound very well on vocals. So this is without the reverb. All of the secret fears inside and all the craziness I hide This is with the reverb All of the secret fears inside And all the craziness I hide 
All right, so you can play around with the mix here if you want to add more reverb. But again, this is based on your preference and this is how I prefer my covers to sound like. Um, not much reverb, but you know it's there. Moving on to the next plugin or the next effect, which is the delay or filter echo plus. So very minimal delay here. I've set the time to one over 16, feedback to 1% and 1% mix only. Very, very minimal delay or very minimal echo because again, I don't want it to sound like you're singing in a cage TV or a karaoke. So this is how it sounds like without. All of the secret fears inside and all the craziness I hide. This is with the delay. All of the secret fears inside and all the craziness I hide. Alright, so if you noticed also the S, the, the S's are very evident and are very loud since we've boosted a lot on the high end and that's where the sibilant sounds live. So I've added a de-esser at the end of the effects chain so that it will process everything from the very start. So this is how it sounds like without the de-esser. All of the secret fears inside. So secret fears inside. All of the secret fears inside So I've set the frequency to 7000 Hz and this is for my voice. This depends on your voice. You can just look for it. This is a very common frequency though. So you can try to start here and then you can play around with the threshold to adjust how faint you want your S's to, to sound. Alright, so that's uh, pretty much the effects that I've added on my vocals. And this is how it sounds like before. When she looks at And this is how it sounds with the effects. When she looks at me, I know the girl sees things nobody else can see. That's pretty much your final mix and the next thing to do here is to master the track which is good because BandLab has an online mastering tool. So what I would normally do is to reduce the master gain or the overall volume of the combined track by 6 decibels. Because during the mastering, it will make the overall track loud so that there is a room during the mastering to make your mix track louder. What you will do is to click on this um, icon here and then projects download and then click on mix down as once this comes up just choose the web option download it so once that's done you go to banlab.com slash mastering upload your downloaded mix track and then let it do its magic when she looks at me i know the girl sees things Alright, so that's the universal. This is fire. All of the secret fears inside. This is clarity. And all the craziness I hide. This is uh, tape. And she doesn't judge the man. So I like clarity. So I will then just click on download. And you now have your mixed and mastered audio track for your song cover. When she looks at me I know the girl sees things nobody else can see All of the secret fears inside And all the craziness I hide She looks into my soul And reads me like nobody can judge the man she just takes me as i am when she looks at me i know the girl sees things nobody else can see all of the secret fears inside and all the craziness i hide she looks into my soul and reads me like nobody can And she doesn't judge the man She just takes me as I am When she looks at me I know the girl 
sees things nobody else can see All of the secret fears inside And all the craziness I hide She looks into my soul And reads me like nobody can And she doesn't judge the man she just takes me as I am If you have any questions about the video, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm not a professional but I'll be more than happy to answer any questions as much as I can. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys in the next one.